y'all feel about the Grammys? How do you feel about the greatness of Beyonce? Ah, if there's a Mount uh, Rushmore for black women, beyond it would be, it would be Harriet Tubman, Cicely Tyson, Beyonce, and uh yeah, you, I'm waiting for uh, you to name her. I know you can't forget her. Who? You gotta put her. She's, she said she wasn't getting up. She wasn't gonna get up. Oh, Rosa Parks. I mean, when yeah. she was, the, she was. You gotta put Rosa on here. Rosa she, Parks. She, was, she, ah. <laughs> she was, was just gonna forget. He just said, "I'll leave Rosa out." No, nah, you gotta put Rosa on there. Rosa she Parks. Hang on, because she was light skinned. Let, no. Let's be realistic. Rosa Parks was the assistant for the NAACP. <laughs> I'm just gonna be real frank with you. She was she worked for the NAACP, so if they weren't gonna get her out, you, you can't count her out though. Yeah, you can't count her out. Okay, so so how many people do you want in this Mount Rushmore for black women? She didn't. She did not count you out. She thought of you <laughs> even back then. She thought of you. She said that young little black boy who's gonna be born later in life. I'm doing this for him. Fifty years later. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing, doing it for him. him. Listen, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be real frank with y'all. Have y'all ever just sat in the back of the bus? The back of the bus be live. I mean, yeah, it's live when you're at school. <laughs> Not when you're facing oppression. <laughs> like, it's, yeah, when when you were, like, on your way to school, and, yeah, you were the back or going on a field trip, like, yeah, the back of the bu- bus was live. Yeah, yeah, everybody wanted to be in the back of the bus because, you know, that's when it was, like, the, the best music was being played, best conversations. Um... You know the the little scandalous girl who are back there too. I mean, I'm just saying. Jesus. So so not after a long day of work, you don't want to sit sit at the back of the bus. Mm-mm. Nah, no, no. Because nah. you gonna be the last one off the bus. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Now that there's you know you know buses have made two X's now. There's two X's. They do like and, and usually back. usually the <laughs> Wait, front. He's not talking about. Now. I'm just saying. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, you, you gotta like because usually it's like you gotta go to enter the bus. You gotta go through the front, and then to get off the bus, you gotta go through the the back one. Mm-hmm. Right. But buses be like, like you know, the back of the bus be having like, like the the smelliest people too. Oh yeah, True. yeah, facts. You know, facts. You ever ridden the uh the tr- what was it here Trinity Metro here? No, I rode the Austin when we were at South by. I rode the Austin uh-huh. Metro. It wasn't like, bad. The, it was just. I know the one in uh when when me and Veronica were in Denver in December, all we did was take the uh the bus and. You know, just like anywhere else, you're gonna meet like some interesting characters on there. True. Yeah. But I hate, I hate that, I hate that I cut you off on your um, Beyonce take. So I'll let you finish that. So here's Ricardo's. My Beyonce take. Yeah. Or is it the Make the Stallion <laughs> take? I don't... No, I, I was gonna say, and it may be a little controversial, but do you think Megan would have won that Grammy without Beyonce? Yes. Yes. It was a it was a TikTok sensation. It was going crazy. But do you think the Academy would have given her that Grammy? The TikTok wasn't before Beyonce. The single wasn't Beyonce. I mean, wasn't before. Well, well the single was already blown up on TikTok without the right, Beyonce right, remix. Right, right. That's what yeah, I'm, I think it would have been regardless. Yes. I now, agree. now, if I you're agree asking that. about WAP, no. I don't think no. I don't think WAP. No, 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 no way. Like I like, I like Savage. I think it's a good song. I don't know. For me personally, I would have wanted to see the box win. I thought you were gonna say I like WAP. I was like, (laughs) no, 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 no. No, no, no. This is a family show, sir. (laughs) No, 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 no. no. We ain't gonna go there. No, no, no. I mean, I'm fine with either Rowdy or um. Roddy, Roddy, or um, or who, on, who else was on there? It was Roddy. It was Megan. Um, I don't have the list up right now. I'm trying to remember who else was nominated. Hold on, I'll, 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 you can just keep talking on your spill. I'll was Drake? Up. Drake wasn't no. Drake wasn't nominated for anything on there. He was. He was nominated for. Oh no! Laugh now, cry later. Was that on best rap song or was that on best yeah, melodic? I think, I think he was nominated. I know he was nominated for a rap category, but I don't know if it was best rap song. Either way, I still have a hard time believing that. I I kind of knew like when they st- when I was looking at the category like weeks ago, and then like the actual night when I was actually watching it, I actually watched it. Like this is the first time I have watched the Grammy in a long, long time, and I was watching it, and I'm like, you know what, Beyonce's on this song, and I feel like in order for the Academy not to face the criticism that they might face, they're probably gonna give it to Megan. 
Kev, I can I can think of like I can only think right now in hindsight what would happen if they didn't give her that award. I feel like people would have been genuinely mad. Okay. If, if she uh, wouldn't have won. Okay, here we go. So the nominees were The Bigger Picture by Little Baby, The mm-hmm. Box by Roddy Rich, Laugh Now, Cry Later by Drake and uh, okay. Dr- uh, Dirk. Dirk, thank you. I was going to call him yeah. Drewski. And <laughs> Rockstar by uh, The Baby. Who else is on Rockstar? Roddy uh, Rich. Roddy Rich. Roddy yeah. Rich. So, and then of course, Savage won. I think, yeah, I think if it wasn't Megan, I think, I think uh, Roddy definitely deserved it. Yeah. For sure. I, or, I mean, even though I don't like Lil Baby like that, I think Bigger Picture would also would have been a big, uh, a good look for him to win that. So you're, so you're saying the Beyonce stimulus package won the award? I think it did. I think it had something to do with it. I think Megan was definitely close. Like, I think she was definitely like very a very close second. Like, I think I, I still think to like right now she is a very close second between her. I think her and the box, uh, Savage and the box are kind of like on on the same kind of like level as far as like winning the award. I just think the Beyonce remix just took it over the edge, and there was like there was no way she was not gonna win that. You know? Didn't she win three that night? She did. Yeah. What was the? I know she won that one, best rap performance, and what was the other one? I don't have the other two. Hold on. I know best rap performance she won, and that was going against uh, Dior by Pop Smoke, The Big Picture again by Little Baby, What's Poppin' by Jack Harlow, Bob by The Baby, and uh, Deep. Um, so she won new I artist best rap performance. Yeah. Make the Stallion won new artist of the year. Uh-huh. Rap. Rap song of the year, mm-hmm. rap performance of the year. That's what it was. And then record of the year. Savage won three Grammys by itself. Three Wait, by. Savage won record of the year? Record of the year, rap performance of the year, rap song of the year. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It won three. No, record of the year was a nominee, my bad. I oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm about to say, I'm like, yeah. she won rec- record of the year? Oh, that's no, crazy. No, uh, who won record of Billy, Billy Eilish? Billy Eilish, yeah. Oh, okay. Who won uh who won album of the year? Taylor Swift. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Ain't nobody listen to that. <laughs> they, they, they had to give Taylor something. They, they probably <sighs> felt bad for her. Yo, man. Oh, like, I will they, say, always, they always do that. Yeah, they always give her something. Every year they always have to give Taylor something. I will say this though. I like this intimate setting they had. It was nice. It was nice. It was really nice. I, I liked the, the whole dinner party aesthetic, Rock Nation brunch aesthetic. <laughs> I, 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 really, I really do like it. Yeah, I, I was kind of weirded out. Like every time they cut to that part, I was like, wait a minute, is this like the behind the scene? Is this like where they're serving the food? Right. I'm like, oh, this is the actual award ceremony. Right. Okay. <laughs> so I like that. I like that sense because I don't know. I feel like should fans be there? I don't know. I think the Grammys, you know, we've, we place the Grammy so high on this pedestal that they're the top, you know, award that matters. So yeah. I think it's it should be more intimate like this. And it was really I'm su- good. I'm surprised Jay was there. Like I know he was there to support Beyonce, but it's just rare to see him at like the Grammys. I think he knew. I think he knew she was gonna win both. Yeah. I mean, yeah. So he wanted to be there supporting when yeah. she did win. Yeah, yeah. And that's understandable. Like I said, it's, it's not it's not strange that he was there, it was just kinda weird to see him. Especially since he's had like such a history with the with the Grammys. Question.